So this is Galaxy. He's a 15-year-old Arab. We're going to go ahead and hook him up to the cart today. I'm going to talk through what I'm doing as I do it. He's currently tied to the fence. Once I get the shafts in, I'm going to keep my hands on the lines. So these shafts have what we call closed or marathon tips. They have a full circle on them, so you have to have quick release shaft loops on them. So that's these right here. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Angle ourselves up here. This is our good boy. So if you have a shorter horse or you're tall, you can reach up and over here. Get your shaft loop through. Some might argue with the wisdom of doing it this way, but by going over his back like that, I don't have to let the shaft rest in the loop suspended while I walk around and do the other side. So, so good boy. Now we take a hold of our lines and it appears. Yeah, I should have sucked those up, huh, buddy? Nope, we are stuck. So now that we've got the shafts secured, we're going to go ahead and do our traces first. The traces pull the vehicle forwards. This is what we want to attach first because while with this cart and the closed tips, it's, it's not so much of an issue, but if you have straight shafts, if he were to jump forward and you had, say, your hold back straps connected, you don't want him moving forward, have the cart connected here, and then have these slide out. So you do the traces first. The pull forward goes first so that the vehicle stays with him if for some strange reason he were to jump forward. Good boy. Next step is our hold back straps. We're basically going from most to least important as we hook him on. Now, we have a footman's loop here, but because he's a little tall compared to where the shafts are on this cart, I want a straighter line of pull for his breaching. We are going to go ahead and take advantage of our loop here and send it through there. So for him, it's going to be one wrap and three holes. And anytime you do a wrap, whether it's down here on the footman's loop or up here, you always want to wrap forward so that you have a straighter the straightest line of pull possible for your hold back straps. And I always want to be able to wrap at least one time. And that's because if heaven forbid you have a hold back strap break on you at the buckle, you can undo the loop and still have enough to find a hole and get home. And the other reason for doing the wrap is the wrap provides a little bit of friction around the shaft and again heaven forbid your hold back strap break you hopefully have enough strap left that you can get the horse stopped and fix it so we've got our hold backs done i'm now gonna go ahead and do the false belly band and the kicking strap on the off side since I'm already over here. And we'll explain these. So now if something happens, the vehicle will stay with him and if he stops, it won't run him up on his butt. And I do recommend that if you have a vehicle, that your lines be long enough that you can walk all the way around it and keep your hands on them. He's standing really well. He didn't the first couple times I hooked him and it's valuable to have the lines in hand. So, next is our false belly band. You want to be sure that this is outside of the trace. You don't want your trace to the outside of this. You want it to have a straight line as possible. So, a false belly band goes outside the trace. We're going to buckle it up here. Since I've hooked in multiple times, I know which hole to go to. But if you need to check, take the shafts, lift up. They should hit the top of the shaft loop, and you should be able to go, you know, I know, buddy, maybe an inch before it engages kicking strap here. They've got a quick release on this, so you just slide that out. 
for him we're just going to do a single loop and back up there when we adjust this we basically want to push his hip all the way to the opposite shaft and it should run fairly snug but not move the crouper out of the way if it's pulling the crouper over you need to let it out just a little bit more the idea is that this should be snug enough that he can't get his butt high enough to get over the shaft however give him full range of motion so he can walk trot canter and turn without having his butt pulled on all right dude that's it there's a good boy.